Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's do an example of how to find the partial derivative of z, which is a function of x and y, and we're also x and y are a function of two other variables, u and v. So we're trying to find the partial derivative of z with respect to one of those variables. In this case, let's do it with respect to u. The equation here is the partial of z with respect to u is expressed right there, which means we need to find the partial of z with respect to x, the partial z respect to y, the partial of x with respect to u, and the partial of y with respect to u. All right, let's do that one at a time. The partial of z with respect to, let's start with uh, x first. All right, so this is equal to e to the x times y times the derivative of the exponent, since y is a constant here, that would then be times y. And so we can write this as y e to the x times y. Now we're going to take the partial derivative of z with respect to y instead of x, and so this is equal to, again we repeat the exponent, e to the x times y times the derivative of the exponent, now this is with respect to y, so x becomes constant, that means times x, which is equal to x times e to the x times y. Now we're going to take the partial derivative of z, no, not of z, but of x with respect to u. The partial derivative of x with respect to u is equal to, and that would be, of course, this would then be considered a constant, that's equal to 2, and the partial of y with respect to u, and that would be equal to, well, here we have a quotient, so this can be written as u times v to the minus 1, and since it's with respect to u, that means, well, in this case, v would be a constant, and that means we simply can write it as 1 over v. We don't have to write v to the minus 1. We can simply write it as 1 over v. Since u is the, const, uh, u is the variable, v is the constant, we could simply take the coefficient of u, which is 1 over v. Now we have to put it all together. So the partial derivative of z with respect to u is equal to will be the first partial z with respect to x, which is this right here, that would be y times e to the x times y, times the partial derivative of x with respect to u, which is 2 times 2, plus the partial derivative of z with respect to y, which is right here, plus x times e to the x times y, times the derivative, partial derivative of y with respect to u, which is 1 over v, times 1 over v. And if we simplify that, let's see here, we can factor out an e to the x times y. So this is equal to e to the x times y times, and on the left side we have 2 times y, plus, and the right side we have x divided by v. Now that's the final answer, although what you could do is you could say, well, I want to express my answers in terms of u and v instead of x and y. So what you could do is replace x by, uh, where we are here, 2u plus v. We can replace y by u divided by v, again over here and again over there. And if we do that, we get the following. This is equal to e to the, x would be 2u plus v, multiplied times y, which is u over v, u over v, so that's the exponent, times the quantity 2 times y, which is u over v, of course we have to multiply times 2, plus u to x divided by v, which is 2u plus v divided by v. And of course we can now write it all over the same denominator and simplify this, so this can now be written as e raised to the 2u plus v multiplied times u over v, that's the exponent, times the quantity behind it would then be uh, 2u plus 2u, that would be 4u plus v divided by v. And so now you have that partial derivative of z with respect to u in terms of only the variables u and v. Or you can have it as a mixed x and y and u and v like that. So that's how you take the partial derivative of a variable like z or a function like z which depends on two other variables and each of those two variables they depend or they are a function of two other variables u and v and that's how it's done.